Hi guys, so we have new update, version 6.4.6 .6, and with this update we have the new um, arena inter-server battle. It's already being discussed in the um, developer's note, okay. Uh, the, the selection phase will be next week, right, for the whole week. And then the inter-server battle will start on December 14th, December 14th, okay. And then of course we have the balance patch, it's now live. And then we have the transmog of the three transmog, the pioneer omyoji and string master. And then this, this is what interests me. The giants keep dungeon balance ease. That means it's easier now to do B12. I mean, for those of you who do um, using the double Melia, Sath and tattoo team, that still works, right? But for those of you who doesn't have the dot teams, now you can do it easier. Probably if you farm B11, you'll be able to farm B12 with your B11 team. Probably. Uh, I'm gonna try this uh, in a bit. So the nerf is the resistance of the mid boss. B10, 11, 12 has been, has been reduced greatly. So easier to put debuff. And then defense of the monsters from B12 has been reduced greatly. That means you don't need a high attack to do damage, right? With a low attack, you'll still be able to do damage, right? Attack power of the Water Golem Master has been increased. So the Water Golem Master has, uh, the, the attack power has been increased. But this doesn't matter if you can kill him fast enough, I feel like, yeah? This is Water Golem Monsters. Wait, Water Golem Monster, is that the minion then? The trash waves? HP of the mid boss and boss from B12 has been, great, has been reduced greatly. Easier to kill the mid boss and the and the final boss, right? Attack power of the boss from B12 has been reduced. That means you'll be able to survive with lower hit points. Okay, that's good. And then we have the craft building. You can now sell all function, I guess. When you sell the thing, you can do the option like when you are selling runes from auto farming, I guess. And then if you clear the giant bee keep one, the reward from summoner's way level one, you get a like fairy queen. So you don't need ancient crystal to buy the like fairy queen. So for those new player, it will be easier to get Fran. And with the rest of us, we'll get a free, we'll get another free fairy queen. <laughs> and then this is just uh, some menus to look at your profile. And this is battle seasons timing. This is a transmog which looks very cool but I don't think I'm gonna get because I'm not in like a very high rank guild. This is a reward for Siege, Guild Siege. Um, unicorn. And this is some of the thing, this is the Siege thing. Mock battle sponsors start have been changed because of the balance patch, okay. Uh, arena ranking rule change is uh, if you end up with the same points, the first one to achieve the victory points will be of a higher rank, okay. Switch SWC icon change, yeah, okay, this is fine, nothing, not, not interested. Uh, and then you can you now can craft light and dark summoning pieces. You can craft three for ten, I mean three of uh, ten pieces each. So that means per, per week you can craft 30 pieces of LD. But you need three net four units. So that means this is more expensive than the legendary pieces. Legendary pieces, legendary pieces you only need 2 and you got 15 pieces. I mean, granted you need 100 pieces for one um, uh, legendary scroll but now you but you need 3 just for 10 pieces of this thing. Kinda expensive. And for those of you who doesn't have a lot of net for, I don't think this is worth it. I mean for, but for those of you who are willing in the game. Got lots of netfall, which you have like max all your netfall skill, and you have extra netfall. Maybe this is another way for you to get LD scrolls, right? And then they have oh yeah, this is the requirement, and then this is like the 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 um, the decrease in price where you can buy scrolls, and then you can buy seven seven scroll per week now instead of three. So come to us, just make us. Um, Easier to get scrolls, basically, yeah. Ancient Crystal Shop, there's been changes. You can now buy LD scrolls um, with 
using 90 pieces of ancient crystals so every dupe you'll be able to get three because from dupe you can get 300 ancient crystals so that's 270 and then you're still left with 30 ancient crystals so every dupe can now get you at least scroll with no purchase limit this is definitely for the wheels right and then you can buy legendary or attribute scroll for 225 ancient crystals which i don't think it is worth it legendary artifact 160 maybe but we'll take a look at the rerolls we got 30 refresh now every time uh for every month we got 30 refresh in the ancient crystal shop for the legendary runes and then originally grindstone and gem and also the legendary artifact and this is uh reduced in price for these three items reaps you can buy 10 now okay and then there is the new pack legendary all attributes scroll pack 70 dollars which i don't know doesn't seem to be worth it uh back pieces that that's not that matter and now with this update you have two days i think this is two days server time right two days for two days of frr today and tomorrow so that's good i hope every time they do come to us do like something like a uh, huge update like a bigger update like balance patch they include this frr which is kind of nice okay so now take a look at the uh, uh the dragons b12 you can use this team now i mean farmable 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 this one you need to summon it's not fusion yeah it's not fusion but yeah this is the only one that's not uh farmable right with this kind of uh team you can clear b12 i've tried it i'm pretty sure it's 100 percent um i don't like i don't have like a very good run on my crow and naomi but the Lucian is quite okay. It's not like very good, good runes, but it's okay ish rune. I'll show you the runes. I've, I, can't, I can't remember what I put on my front and Lauren because the rune has been there since like forever. But with this kind of team, now you can clear uh, Giant's B12. While previously, you need to have like um, better runes in order for you to use this kind of team. And I think you can clear like in under one minute, which is kind of nice, right? So this certainly helps those uh, early games player who can't make d double. I mean, it's easier to, to you see under under one minute. So that's pretty good. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's easier for like um, early game, early to mid game players now to build giants keep giants b12 right because i mean technically with the dot team you can also that's farmable so since now malia, malia is like fusionable fusionable you can fuse the malia right but now with this probably the rune requirement is slightly lower since with malia you also need the the Lucian anyway right see pretty easy you, you'll be able to survive this uh, under one minute let me show you the runes I don't think I have like a very 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 good good runes on the Naomi and Crow this is 36 seconds so not bad uh, so now you will be able to farm B12 for sure easier to farm B12 so let me show you the runes the Lucian, probably this one is... I mean, I don't think this is like very OP OP runes. It is decent. A uh, Rage Blade. Uh, of course with Artifact. The Artifact is also not that good. I mean, damage dealt on water plus 10%, which is kind of nice. Um, additional damage. Crit damage. Which is, I think these two runes, uh, these two Artifact is not that OP anyway. Right? Probably some of you will have like better artifacts for your Lucian because additional damage for Lucian is pretty nice. And uh, then this is the slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four, slot five, slot six. See? It's really not that OP. I don't think it's that OP. Uh, so for the Fran and Lauren, um, I just run Fran to move first. Uh, tanky. 
uh, on violent 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 accuracy rune okay so, so slot one slot two slot three slot four slot five slot six artifact you can just put whatever for front just put hit hit point and attack i don't know why i put attack here or maybe for the recovery but see it's not like a very good artifact even and the runes is okay okay ish and this one even is on swift you don't need to be on swift you just need this to move i think after front it can be on violent it can be on anything um yeah i just ruined this to go after front right so he can like do the defense break on the boss and push back and then just some hit points in order to survive so it's speed hit point hit point see all the runes are not that this is not even max this is just to put some hit points attack whatever some accuracy in there so you need some accuracy for her to land but now the resistance is lower right so it's easier to land the debuff but you still need to like i think you should have i mean if, if you want to be safe above 65 i guess i don't know i don't know how many resistance the boss have now but yeah you see not a very not a very op runes mm, naomi see you just need to ruin naomi with attack and crit damage right because um he has this passive uh you your crit rate will always be 100 percent if the enemy has some more effects and with uh with lauren the boss will definitely be will have um uh, debuffs harmful effects so it will be it will always crit for naomi so you don't really need crit rate for naomi uh this is the artifact just some additional attack additional damage by attack this is attack attack crit damage is nice to have additional damage by attack and then for the runes uh just fatal nam you don't have to be nam just just run her with a lot of attack and of course hit points you don't you don't really need crit rate you need crit damage of course so attack crit damage attack is nice you need her to have some speed of course some speed i mean he has like 119 base speed which is easier to have like some speed on her right so that she'll just move before the the uh, enemies right so this is not a very op room and the crow see not even that great uh, I think this is the same. Crow should you should have crit rate on Crow because Crow doesn't have the passive as Naomi. So you need Rage Blade so that I can get the uh, crit rate. You need like 100% crit rate or like close to 100% like above 90 would be nice so he doesn't miss a crit because uh, with Naomi he is your main damage dealer, right? So attack as usual, crit damage, attack not a very op room see just um this is just so that he, he doesn't need actually you doesn't need this now i think you just need him crow to do like a lot of damage see you see this is this is just for the third skill so this is like not a very good room with this kind of room you can still uh clear db12 so that's a nice nerf i guess that's a nice nerf a, ni a nice nerf a nice nerf for db12 it makes it easier for all of you uh, early or mid game player to farm GB12. So I guess that is the best thing in this balance patch. So everyone now will have like plus 200 swift rune. Keep farming those giant P10 and improve your swift rune. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.